as government struggles to enroll all people living with HIV AIDS eligible for antiretroviral therapy, doctors say there is an emerging complication, resistance to the first priority antiretroviral drugs. Although there are no national figures to show the extent of the problem, a few centers have received people with resistance to ARVs. There's a lot of, of resistance because of poor adherence and poor coherence to drugs. That is the number one problem we see. And this is presenting huge challenges to AIDS treatment. The second line is expensive, so you need to get one that is most cost effective. Number two, we do not have enough funding and resources to monitor the patients. Now a study to determine whether an effective and easier therapy using available drugs can be used in developing countries like Uganda is in the pipeline. This study will take on about 50 people who have had resistance to the first option drugs and have started on second line therapy. Volunteers will be studied under three groups to determine the efficacy of second option drugs. Scientists will study the response to drugs by volunteers in different groups when they combine them with a baseline drug called Alluvia. We are going to see which of those three will be most effective to the patient, most cost effective and will need least monitoring. These scientists say the best initiative is to ensure that people on treatment do not become resistant to the first option drugs, which are the most effective by guaranteeing constant supply of antiretroviral drugs, especially in public health centers, so that those on treatment do not miss their daily doses. Leah Wanika, NTV Tonight.